Hello, I'm Mark Wilson, Vice Principal of the British International School of Houston. This is the second vlog in our series about the state of the school. Based on our strategic plan, when we are focusing on our key driver of making all decisions based around what's best for learners and learning, it made us rethink the length of the 55 minute periods that our school is currently structured into. As part of this process, we did some research and looked at what uh, evidence is coming out from educational circles around the best length of learning times. And there's pros and cons to all these things, but generally the, the opinion at the moment seems to be that longer learning sessions enable students to have a far deeper learning experience. The idea of moving every 55 minutes from one thing to another thing actually disrupts the flow of the learning experience for our students. It's not a natural thing, it would be very rare that any of you in your adult lives find yourselves having to stop something at 55 minutes and then start something new for another 55 minutes. So we were looking at that and trying to make sure that the flow of the learning was not disrupted by the constant changing. The other impact that we have is the size of the campus. I mean, the campus has been very well designed to try and minimise the movement, but nevertheless, it's a big campus. And students moving from one side to the other every 55 minutes reduces the learning time that's available to them. So bearing in mind our um, strategic goals, bearing in mind what the research says, bearing in mind the sheer size of the campus, we did um, uh, a lot of consultation within the school community to then look at what would work best as we move forward. What we decided to do was to split our day essentially into three learning sessions. Each learning session is 110 minutes long. This fits with sort of optimum time from educational research around learning experiences. It also means that, our, that the disruption of the learning is not as affected by continually moving. Here are some um, basic overviews that I'll give you, and I'll explain some of the, the minor differences between the primary school and then the middle and the high school. So, the school day starts at 8.25, as it does now, and goes through from there. The, one of the key differences from a secondary school perspective is there is no registration in the morning. Students will go directly to their first class, where they'll be registered on site, and they'll be immediately into their learning. 110 minutes later, we have break. The other thing that we've been able to do, because of the size of our campus, is bring all of our breaks into alignment with each other. All the school areas are sufficiently um, segregated enough so that students of different ages have got their own spaces to have playtime and, and time to exercise and rest from their um, official learning times. So then we have a break time in here, and this is followed by learning session two, another 110 minutes. Then we hit lunchtime. Now lunchtime is split. Ultimately our campus can hold over 2,000 students. The canteen of our campus can have around about 550 students at any one, one time. So even moving in as we are now, we couldn't get all of our students in there in the same time period. So we split the lunch time like this. The primary school go immediately into lunch after learning session two, where they have a 50 minute lunch period. This is then followed by a 30 minute period back with their class teacher. The use of that, that period of time we're going to be giving more detail about as we come uh, closer to the um, start of the new academic term, but it's a really nice slot in the day to do some really focused work, particularly around phonics and reading. Our secondary school students, they go for half an hour to their tutor. So every day they spend 30 minutes with the person who is charged with being their key worker, if you like, the person who's going to make sure that they have a focus on your child and they know your child very, very well. That 30 minute tutor time from a secondary perspective is really important for us. Um, we want to have a decent amount of time every day where the tutors and the students can spend time together. It is also in this time period that the PSHE, the Personal Social Health Education Programme, will be delivered um, as part of our curriculum. So we have a split lunch, and then at the end of the lunch process, the secondary students have 50 minutes for their lunch as well, we then move into learning session three. After lunch, our day becomes slightly more complicated until you get used to it. On a Monday, on a Wednesday and a Friday, we just move straight into a 110 minute learning session. 
and then those days move into a 55 minute uh, co-curricular program. One of the things you'll notice, the other changes we've made this year going forward, is there will be a co-curricular program that takes place every day of the week. So Monday through to Friday, there will be activities and clubs um, on offer for students across the school. Because we believe this is an important part of an educational experience, one of the other things that we have done is look to try and find a way in which we can demonstrate the importance of this type of learning. So on a Tuesday and on a Thursday, the formal learning time, for want of a better phrase, will finish at 2.30 and our elective programme will begin. This gives us a fantastic opportunity for elongated uh, elective programmes. A wonderful opportunity for students that are being involved in any kind of sports teams to have a decent length of practice time. For students that are involved in school productions to have a proper rehearsal time. Uh, for our MUM programme to have enough time to really have a good debate and to get that set up. There are many, many advantages from our co-curricular perspective to enable our students to have that kind of elongated experience. School does not finish until 3.30. All students will be involved in some form of elective programme. So just rest assured for a second, school day does not finish until 3.30 every day. Everybody will be involved in an elective on the Tuesday and the Thursday. They may choose to have um, uh, an elongated elective, they may be choosing to be involved in something that runs over the 110 minute period, or they may be choosing to be involved in something that's only a 55 minute elective. We've managed to do this without impacting the length of learning time for all of our subject areas in the secondary school. So all of the IB requirements are being met in terms of the number of hours that students need to have for that program, or the IGCSE requirements being met. Nobody's learning time has, has decreased in any kind of way in the way we've managed to design this whole program. So it's like a bonus. It's a bit of a bonus really in terms of enabling students to take uh, additional elective uh, programs. The one thing we would say about the elective program, and we will fill you in with more details about this in coming weeks and particularly moving to the new building, please don't think of this as like just our clubs program. We have a whole co-curricular programme that we're putting in place here that's far wider, um, far deeper in terms of learning experiences for our students. So that is the breakdown of how the day works. The key piece of information, school starts at the same day, time term 8.25, school finishes at 3.30 every day, but there are increased opportunities for our students to be involved in elective programmes and the co-curricular side of their education. We've managed to streamline the way the school works so that the um, school day works the same for everybody. Now within this, our primary school has a lot of autonomy. So apart from the occasional times when they have um, a PE lesson or a languages lesson, the teachers will continue as they always have done to create the timetable for our younger learners in a way that works for them. But now they have, again, longer sessions where they haven't got to worry about being disrupted and have to move halfway through. And for our very youngest students, they are, their time is totally controlled in a, in a way by their teachers. So there's nothing to worry about there. For more information and more specific information about particular ages of students that you might have, then please feel free to contact the appropriate people within the school. And if you don't know who they are, you're welcome to contact me and I can make sure you get that kind of information. We hope this gives you a bit of an overview in terms of how we've uh, changed the structure of the school day. And we hope, like us, you are as excited as we are about the opportunities that are available for us when we focus on learning in a deep and meaningful way with longer learning sessions and with the new excited uh, bonuses of um, a co-curricular programme that has more breadth and more depth. Thank you very much.